Okay, here's your Samsung. What happens is we have water that seems to pull back in here. What it is is the defrost drain behind this panel here is plugged up. Um, and if you have ice built up, if you see ice built up in here and here, you're going to have to defrost that before you can pull this off basically. Sometimes you can take a hair dryer and go underneath this and warm it up that way, but if you just turn it off and let it defrost by itself, it's going to take maybe a day and a half to totally defrost and then you can pull this panel off and get to the back and clean that out. And so, sometimes what you can do is you can heat the back of this with a hair dryer to warm that up so that line gets clear. Um, you definitely want to make sure that the water is running down out through here uh, before you put it back together. There's going to be uh, two little drain pipes behind here. You can take them off and then look inside. One's going to be for your freezer and one's going to be for your uh, refrigerator compartment. Okay, so what typically happens is you have to take this off to deal with it the back cover so two screws here on the bottom one screw here underneath this cap look out that and then after defrost and you can pull this off but you can't pull it off until after defrost because it's ice holding it on and basically I've never seen a heat element go bad in this basically there's a thermostat and a uh, kind of thermistor or uh, yeah so it's a thermistor it's basically a temperature sensor and yeah so they're basically both temperature sensors and so if you pull this off and you want to double check your temp temperature sensor and your uh that's a thermistor basically and then uh look at the values with your meter and see if they're up to specs if they aren't you have to replace them if you're lucky it's just going to be a clogged drain this thing here is still kind of frozen I don't want to rip the I don't want to rip it apart but yeah I'm just gonna have to wait till that defrost and then I'll get in there and check those components separately but otherwise they're pretty good fridges <laughs>